would be amazing. Now, Rosie, I want to talk to you about this. Yes. I really do. You posted a photo of you and David Bowie and Iman right here. Now, I didn't realise how close you were. Wow. Yeah. I didn't realise how close you were with Bowie. Um, how, how did you first meet? Well, I did a movie with Iman called Exit to Eden, which I'm sorry if you saw it. Loved I'd like it. to <laughs> give you $20 and apologize. It was like one of the worst movies ever made. No way. It, it really was. Lo was that the one with Dreyfus? No, it was Dan Aykroyd and oh, I on one. an SM island. Yes. And we were undercover cops. I loved it. You loved it? I, it's a great movie from oh, my childhood. Paper. It was so bad that I actually got a new puppy <laughs> before I had to go do press, and I put it right in my sports <laughs> bra, so the head was right there, so the host really couldn't ask me anything else. Right. That's how bad the movie was. Wow. But I did a movie with Iman, and, and uh, we became close friends, and, and then, of course, she's married to David, and, and we uh, got along. He loved the fact that I didn't really know his music besides China Girl. You know, which he was like, what, are you kidding me? It's like my sellout song. I can't believe it. And I was like, I think it's cute, little China girl. He's like, go, oh, God. And then he, he, I always wanted them to come with me to see musicals. And mm. he had notoriously didn't like a lot of musicals. Yes. So Iman is like, he'll never stay. He'll never stay. And I'm like, let's go. So we saw Rent. And after about 15 minutes, he leaned over to me and said, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> you <know? laughs> and he was not happy. And the bet was that if, if he didn't like it, I was going to be forced to go to Nobu with them. Right. And he would feed me all the sushi because I was afraid to eat sushi at the time. Right. I was like, I'm not eating raw fish. And I went and I fell in love with it. And every time I go now, I have the David Bowie menu when I eat. <gasps> oh. So we'll go and I'll tell you What's what he ordered. What's the David Bowie menu? It's the sliced fluke with the miso chip at the beginning. And then it's the rice cake with the salmon tartare. Oh, God. And, come on, uh, we'll go. Marcus and I, we were sharing David Bowie clips a week we or were. so ago. Really? Yeah, we, we were. were we were sharing clips of uh, inspirations for, for David Bowie. That's why he did an interview about fearlessness and about being just out of your depth and making your best start. When you're... Yes. And he sent it to me when I put my record out, and it happened to be the interview that I watched, like, the day I started writing my record. Wow. I sent him Very out, weird. I said, I listened Creepy. to your album, I loved it, it made me think of this. And he said, that's so weird. I watched that the day that I started recording. Wow, that's Bowie, beautiful. Bowie came to one of our shows once. Did he? Yeah, and he walked past the dressing room, there was just, like, absolute silence, yeah. you know, because he came in. And he was there to see the opener. <gasps> really? Oh, no, he didn't get it. oh, oh no. no! Or at least I think he did. But yeah. Oh. Although you're pretty stacked up on Heroes because over the summer, I was. This is incredible to me. You joined uh, Joni Mitchell on stage oh, for one yeah. of her first. I think it was her first performance in, in like 20, 20 years. years. Yeah. yeah. How did you and Joni Mitchell get to know each other? Brandy Carlisle. It's oh, all about Brandy. Right. She's fantastic. She's yeah. unbelievable, and just the sort of leader that I'd follow wherever she went. Mm. And she took us to Joni's house. You're definitely going to follow her if she goes there. Yes. Yeah. And there's a lot of frozen margaritas flying around. Mm. Uh -huh. And Joni just wants to sort of be around music. And Brandy's sort of been like a musical physiotherapist for her. Got right. her singing again, basically. Right. Along yes. with the support of lots of other wonderful people like Marcy and, um, and Elton John goes along. And, and I went and um, tried to sing My Funny Valentine, but Shaka Khan. At the end, because I forgot one of the lyrics, Shaka Khan with her massive glass of red leans down to Joni and is like, he really f that up, do you want me to do it again? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Which is great, I loved it. And what oh, she said, wow. she's like, oh no, she's just chilling, yeah, playing yeah. bongos, you know. And then we've